Hey, everybody, I wanted to make this video. Thank everybody for the incredible generosity. This week we raised in three days after my last video, we raised a million dollars a day. So we raised $3 million in three days. It was an extraordinary show of support by all of you. And I want to just tell you how grateful I am uh, for your generosity and, and for your friendship. I'm here at my house on, um, on Cape Cod and Hyannisport. And behind me is my grandfather's house. This is the Kennedy Con. Um, uh, my grandfather bought that house in 1928. He was in living in Boston, but he could, and he was a scratch golfer, but he couldn't play golf. They wouldn't let Catholics on uh, the golf courses in Cohasset or the northern towns. And he came down here because there's a golf course here that was built by an Irish man named uh, Lawrence O'Brien. And so they, of course, let Catholics on. My father was the first of his children, was the seventh of his children, but the first one to get married. So all the nine children were raised in that house. My father was the first one to get his own house, and that's it there. And, uh, and then my uncle, President Kennedy, owned this house here. And, the, uh, and my uncle, Steve Smith, in the house right there attached to the compound. When I was a kid, every Friday, the summer White House was here. And every Friday, three helicopters would land right there next to the beach near the football field. And uh, my uncle would get out, President Kennedy, with my uncle Teddy, who was in the <coughs> Senate, Senate beginning in 1962. My uncle Steve Smith, who was the chief of staff at the White House, my uncle Sarge Schreiber, who was at the head of the Peace Corps, and my father, who was attorney general, they'd all get out of those three helicopters. And um, and then we would spend the weekends here. On the election eve in 1960, the election headquarters was my father's house. And Louis Harris, the pollster, was there. And he was set up on the second floor in my bedroom. And my uncle Jack, uh, around one or two in the morning, he was losing the election. And the California returns hadn't come in like that. And he went home, he walked back in the yard, he walked into his house and he went to sleep. And the next morning, my Aunt Jackie sent Caroline in, who I think was three years old at that time. And she said to him, he lived in this bedroom right here, that picture window. And she, Caroline, woke him up and said, good morning, Mr. President. And that was the first he knew that he'd been elected. And then he gave that willow tree there. He gave his first press conference as president-elect under that tree. And the Secret Service that afternoon brought in a trailer. And this was the baseball field where we played baseball every day. My 29 cousins here and, uh, and all the other kids in this town. And so for the next three years, we were living in this magical situation in the middle of the summer White House with, uh, you know, family, really big, loving family filled with, um, with great, great kids. And, uh, you know, I had a magical childhood that I'm very, very grateful for. So that's kind of a little part of my history. It's the history that's uh, brought me to this point in part today. And uh, I'm I'm really happy for the chance to share it with you. And I want to thank you all again for your support for this campaign.